Okay, this one. Ooh, we got a snow variant. This one might look the coolest. Big boy, big belly boy. Oh my god, he almost killed me. Hey yo, everyone, welcome back to another Terraria video. We're here on Team Mod Loader 1.4 Alpha Stable Version, whatever, and we are checking out a mod here. Let's go ahead and peep it. Boom. Liber, Liber, however you say that word. Creature Arum, however you say that word too. I probably butchered it. But yeah, this is a cool little mod that adds in a bunch of new enemies. Let's go ahead. Let's hop into the world and check it out. All right, we are in the world. I got a little pet from the mod we'll check out the items from the mod later there's a good handful but we're here to see the monsters i love any mods that are like this for minecraft terraria whatever game like it that just add in more monsters it's always cool speak about new things jackalope what he's unkillable all right let's get to it we're just gonna run down the list go ahead and summon all these new enemies here starting with the jackalope we already saw the jackalope we're gonna start with that one chill bat maybe i should hop out of god mode just to you know see the damage we take from them nice little three damage i'm not wearing armor either unless this has warding on it now nah, it doesn't have anything on it nice little chill bat i'm assuming this spawns in the snow biome and you know the good thing about playing in 1.4 is that we got a bestiary and mods are gonna be able to use the bestiary to tell us what's going on look they even tell you what mod they're from that's pretty damn dope i'm not gonna lie i love the bestiary here's another enemy i killed too the bolt and then we got the jackalope on here and then obviously as we kill more and more we unlock more and more information it's so cool i love the bestiary that's one of my favorite things about 1.4 oh we got another new enemy coming in right here spriggan one of the things i know spriggans is from is uh skyrim but i'm pretty sure they're just like folklore i'm pretty sure a lot of this mod is like cryptids and folklore stuff which i mess with a lot that's also some of my favorite enemies and stuff in video games is when they add in like cryptids and folklore stuff let's go ahead and kill it i probably should have let it hit me first huh all right hit me let's see the damage another nice little three damage nothing too crazy i am playing in journeys mode you know what let's put up the difficulty slider all right we're putting it to master mode i'm resummoning the enemies oh my god he's hitting me for 20s all right what about the spriggan he's also hitting me for 20s i don't want to die though don't kill me all right let's bring in the next enemy here sandy bat i feel like uh we could all guess where this one comes from oh good shot damn what's his name bradley good shots bradley let's see the damage another nice little 20 on to the next one the dingo oh yes we need more dog type enemies in terraria and he's gone okay it's all good we'll bring in another one let him hit me damn oh my god he almost killed me i need to give my character more hearts all right now that i got more hearts let's go ahead let's bring in the next enemy the bobo what the heck is that thing oh it's a bird i never would have guessed that from the way it was standing let's go ahead and kill it it was hitting me for some good damage right there let's bring in the bolt next this one looks like a flinx like a goofier uglier flinx the nose is smaller than the flinx oh he hits me with confusion okay that's a little dangerous that could be very dangerous oh he dropped an eyeball all right next up mudfly oh we got a little ant lion variant here i do like how they uh are pretty like vanilla like sprites and then they're just tweaked a little bit to look different like tweaked very well too like this thing had glowing eyes and like a glowing tail that's dope as hell but yeah that thing did a lot of damage that thing hit me for like 60 jesus frost golems oh god we got golems coming up these dudes are gonna hurt i think we skip the golems go to the slimes we got a foul drop here a different type of slime they hit pretty hard i'm not messing with them right now next up we got the pimple okay i, I can guess where these two enemies spawn oh they hit me with a little debuff stinky now that's fucked up you can kill me you can hurt me you can cut me up but never make me stinky that's that's unforgivable all right next up we got a cyan slime cool nice little extra slime i wonder where that one spawns uh we got an ecto slime okay i feel like i can guess where this one spawns oh shit look another cyan slime over there we got a honey drop you know i'm always down with more slimes damn that slime hurt lime slime good name good name Let's see the damage nice little 44 on us mint slime okay interesting we're getting like some flavors in here too fungi cap fungi cap i like fungi hey you know that i'm a i'm a mushroom type of guy mushroom type of guy cool enemy oh also drops glowing mushrooms nice all right we got orange slime next plain and simple another just color for slimes after that we got a sandball slime okay this one oh i like that 
a little variation of the projectile shooting slimes very nice oh wow that did 186 damage master mode with this mod on ain't gonna be easy well, master mode in general really isn't that easy sometimes but imagine for the worthy two with this oh damn he almost killed me again all right what else do we got we got a violet slime we got a white slime no black slime that's already in the game isn't it okay 45 and then the white one come on watch out guys it's the cum slime watch out now <laughs> All right, I'm assuming they do the same damage, unless I, I just ran into the same slime again. Okay, that one was hitting a little bit harder. I don't know how I'm feeling about the cum slime. All right, let's head back to the other enemies here. We got the meteor, which is like an eyeball meteor. I'm assuming spawns in the meteor biome. Let's see the damage. A good bit. Usually meteors do hit you for a good bit, though, so it makes sense. And let's bring in these golems. These dudes are going to hurt. I already know. Hey, why are you running? Why are you running, bro? hit me okay not that bad he does have the little uh eye frame thing that the uh, granite golems do all right let's bring in the mud golem okay nice little 90 ooh, 120 that's a big boy hit right there and next we got the meteor golem that guy feels like he's gonna hurt okay he didn't set me on fire though he did not set me on fire all right moving on we got the burnt let me go ahead and clear the area here burnt that boy is burning so his name is not a lot let's see the damage does he set me on fire? Luckily, he does not set me on fire. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Coin boy. We messing with a coin boy? <laughs> does he drop coins when he takes damage? Oh, he drops a coin portal? I like that. Nice little way to get a little extra coins. Dope. Uh, next up, we got the Firemon. Fire? Firemon? I don't know. We're really getting into that folklore now. Uh, headless dude burning. That sounds something. That sounds definitely like some sort of cryptid. Hangman. He do be hanging. Let's see the damage though. Okay, okay. And I'm assuming he goes through walls because he does look like a ghost. Let's go ahead. Let's kill him. On to the next possessed sword. We got a couple weapons like this in Terraria or a couple enemies like that. Maybe it drops an enchanted sword if you kill a bunch of them. I have no idea. We are on to the Spriggins. We got a good bit of Spriggins here. We still got a lot more enemies to go. Spriggin, but the corruption version. Nice little 60 damage. Drop some wood to Spriggan. But not corruption. Crimson version. And then look, the forest version came over. And I'm dead. I'm pretty sure these enemies have like their own custom noises too. Some of them. Which is really nice because like I've been playing like full on Terraria content mods where enemies don't even have new noises or anything. Like everything's a recycled noise. So it's nice to hear new noises. We got the uh, hollowed version of the Spriggan. Hits a little harder. Obviously it's a hard mode version. We still got more. We got this one which is the jungle variant cool we got the mushroom variant yes sir love to see it and then we got what is this a beach variant palm wood variant cool we got a snow variant this one might look the coolest does a small amount of damage but you know the forest biome is an early game biome or the snow biomes are early game biome next up we got the willow wisp let's see it in action here okay it's got like fairy like ai cool or pixie like ai we got a draugr yes sir any skyrim players in the chat uh these dudes got some, the little shield up damn killed all of them really quickly look they dropped their shield and their sword let's see the sword in action oh look save it for later save it for later all right let me get hit by the draugr let's see the damage on him nine damn and he hits you with curse it's kind of cool i like that on to the next enemy we got the zhang shi these are like the uh, hopping vampires from chinese folklore very cool i like these enemies uh they hit me i wasn't paying attention to that number well i don't got enough health to get hit again what was the magic number let's see it nice little 45 okay zombie but i don't know what, what is this <laughs> He just look like a regular zombie to me. Uh, he's got a little extra effects on him. A little squishier when he dies. Oh, yeah. This is the zombie that I like to see right here. Big boy. Big belly boy. Let's see the damage. Okay. Nice little 50. Does he explode or something? No, he's just a big boy. Plain and simple. Kind of wish he like exploded, exploded into like Icor or something. Next up, we got a little frozen zombie here. Nice little baby damage. You could, you could eat that. That's easy. Oh, actual frozen zombie this time wearing the pink eskimo hood we got another zombie little muddy zombie little dirty boy that sounded weird saying that next up we got a i don't know it looks like a pirate no idea to be honest and then we got two zombies here with slimes on the head purple and green very nice take some damage and kill them oh almost died and last but not least we got a corruption zombies what it looks like very cool damn he hits hard he hits pretty hard 
and i believe that's everything for now obviously this mod's gonna update added more i do hope in the future they get like some big cryptids in here as like a mini boss or a just boss period i'm talking about like mothman wendigos mothman is definitely up there though but yeah let's go ahead let's run through the items in this mod now we got a noose can be worn in vanity slots according to the legend pieces of it bring luck okay sweet increases our critical strike chance where do we wear it we just wear it around our neck okay plain and simple a uh, viking shield can be worn in vanity slot reduces damage take by five percent increases defense by two they're missing an n and it increases let's see what it looks like very nice a little different perspective on a shield usually we get that like side perspective here we get a nice little we can see the whole front of it which is nice all right we got our wristband offers an excellent source of support increases melee damage by five percent increases defense by one let's put it on nice you can see it on the character which is one of my favorite things about accessories and mods is when you can see them. We got the weird carrot, which summons in the little jackalope pet that's been following me. We got some flash, melee whip attacks infuse enemies. Melee whip attacks enemies and fire, plain and simple. We got the jackalopes themselves, of course. And then we got the caged jackalope. Where can I put this? There we go. We got a bobo feather. Awesome. This is a, ma this is a material. What, what is it for? For some potions cool we got the bolt eyeball which i'm assuming this also probably makes potions oh it makes the flash okay we got the mud fly tail throw this in here oh makes torches cool we got smoldering ashes uh, that makes the flash of fire. We got the torches. Torch made out of mud fly tail. No keybind set. Please set one. Okay. Interesting. But cool. Look at that. Cool new little torch. Might accidentally mess around and summon in the torch god. I should be careful. And then we got some weapons here. We got the bastard sword. Does some good damage. It's sword commonly used in late medieval times. Uh, honestly, I expected it to be way bigger. Because like bastard swords in other games are like gigantic. Uh, rusted cutlass. Favorite choice of a pirate, of course if you wanted a rusted one instead of a regular one boom bada bing and then last but not least is this one the scrap the scrape i don't know how to pronounce that ancient sword of the vikings can inflict frost burn cool that's nice i always like inflicting frost burn it's a nice little debuff but there you go there's everything in the mod i do want to look at the bestiary again I, I wonder if oh you can filter by mods that's pretty cool that's honestly insane that's cool as hell that you can just filter by mods but look at this yes sir we got all the creatures in here uh, i definitely have not killed enough to uh, see all the information about them the only one i have information on is this one let me kill like a bunch of the Jiangshis and let's see if that unlocks some information I just want to see a little bit more information you know so let's kill a bunch of them is that enough or do I gotta kill more there we go a vampire that has stiff body it can only move by jumping origin Chinese folk world folklore cool cool it is pretty dope but like i said i do hope they add in like even more common cryptid stuff like for example mothman wendigos other cryptids that i don't even have in my mind right now that i can't think of but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure to check out the mod this mod is a dope mod to have for your future playthroughs adds in more enemies you can never go wrong with a mod that just adds in more enemies shout out to the mod developer i'll see you all next time